Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I want to touch on just a very focused way about the core principle behind neurological recovery. So if you have a chronic nervous system problem, it could be ADD, chronic depression, bipolar, migraines, lightheadedness, brain fog, you name it. They're basically discovering all these problems are related to the inability of the brain to repair itself. Now, one of the problems is for decades, neurologists have been telling everybody the brain can't recover. And that was because we couldn't find any mechanisms to support that statement that it could. Well, the last decade for sure, all sorts of things have been discovered about stem cell production, these white blood cells called microglia or microglia that can repair the brain. There's a whole host of chemicals we call neurotropins that can repair the brain. Uh, and they're discovering in adults that in major regions of the brain, you're replacing about 90% of your neurons with brand new ones every three weeks. So all the doctors have been trained that the brain can't recover. And actually what we're discovering is the brain is probably the most capable organ of recovery, all right? And people say, well, why don't the doctors know this? Well, we know this if you're in the research realm of things, but in terms of the treatment guidelines that doctors refer to, if you have ADD, it's not included in there yet because they don't have some drug that'll just reverse brain inflammation and allow your you to recover from ADD, okay? So that's that's what's going on, and that's why you get this vibe like, you know, I have to take this drug forever? You can't fix me? And that's because they, they're still operating on this basically old data that the brain can't repair itself. Now, inflammation is the, it's a healthy thing if you have a little bit of it. It helps you repair tissue. It helps you fight infections, all right? But we're living in an inflammatory world uh, where most of us have high levels of inflammation, and this is preventing us from recovering from brain injuries. And the brain injuries are physical. They could be you're knocked unconscious or something like a soccer ball hits you in the head. That'll snap neurons. They can be inflammatory. So COVID is raking everybody over the coals, leaving many, many of them with uh, a small degree of post-COVID inflammatory brain injuries that they don't really recognize as coming from COVID because their fever and cough and everything has already gone away, but it's a few months later, they just can't focus, okay? It's probably from your COVID. And then emotional traumas are actually some of the most dangerous ones because they're the ones that can kill you. It's called the Takasubu event or dying of a broken heart. And uh, so that's severe. But then the, you have what I call the equivalent of a, an emotional soccer ball, a relatively mild thing. Your dog runs away for an hour. You get him back. You're all flustered and upset. You got a little brain injury. Now, if you go back in 1960, when everybody would recover from brain injuries, it's because very few people uh, more likely had any of this inflammatory crap in their body so they could recover. That's why a lot of these things seem like so, so minor or strange that they would cause something now. It's because the inflammatory nature of our food and our environment is uh, making it hard for that to happen. And so the core focus strategy, which is hard for modern medicine to do, is to just tamp down inflammation and let the brain fix itself. The goals in medicine and people with their gadgets and all this kind of stuff is they want to come running in kind of like the hero and they're going to go in and fix the brain. Doesn't work that way. Okay? I mean, what's better than nature at doing this? You have to take a step back, obsess about sources of inflammation, get your inflammation down, and your brain will recover, whether you're six or 76, okay? I see it happen all the time, all the time. You just gotta focus on inflammation. I talk about 
using olive oil to protect you from the excessive omega-6s of the food supply, increasing the doses of omega-3 fatty acids, in particular DHA is critical, it's the primary one in the brain that you need, keeping the intestinal tract balanced uh, for bacterial overgrowth or SIBO, we use rifaximin, very safe drug, okay, doesn't damage your gut bacteria, doesn't get in the bloodstream, won't cause, you know, some side effect, and it won't interact with any of your medicines. People need that typically repeatedly as their symptoms return. Vagus nerve stimulation, high doses of turmeric or curcumin, uh, acetyl L-carnitine lowers inflammation in the brain, and uh, those are the tools I use. And um, and it works dramatically. So that's all you got to do. You got some chronic neurological stuff. You're tired of taking Adderall or all this other shit they put you on. Excuse me. If they put you on this stuff, you got to focus on the inflammation. And you've got to be consistent. You stop, it'll come back. Okay? So that's all it takes. Obsess about inflammation. You got a neurological problem, that's what it'll take. You'll also find stuff outside of the brain arthritis, a bunch of other kind of things that you have, that all gets better too. Okay, hope you have a great day. Take care now. Bye.